G'day guys, welcome to another Project Resto. We're on the acre block today and the goal with this is not to turn it into a golf course but to get it looking really good. Uh, we've got a big event here at the end of the year and the grass is a rightful mess of weeds, kaikuyu, cooch, annual ryegrass, all sorts of different things. So it is a bit of a party bag mix here. But I'll take you down so you can have a look and you can see um, what we're dealing with. If you have a look through, you can see we've got all sorts of weeds popping up in here. Clover, heaps of winter grass, Those small sprigs of rye popping up, heaps of this stuff. I don't know what it is, cudsweed or lamb's tongue, whatever it's called. If we go up a little bit further, it does get worse. Dandelions, lots of this stuff. And my personal favorite, which is proving to be a real pain, are these things here. Now I don't know what they are, but you can see they are slightly yellowed. Um, and that's because we have um, sprayed some bow and arrow out. But if you have a look through, you can see there is, there is rye grass popping up and that's what we want. So what we put out here not too long ago was uh, about 50, 55, 60 kilos of annual rye grass. And the, that, that was just an oversow. So the reason we did that, uh, went with the annual rye grass is because that's the quantity I could get um, at the time it was a pretty good price and it was going to grow over the cooler months here we're in the central west so it is cool you can see it's really frosty and foggy today but it was going to grow over the six or so uh, six or seven months coming up to the end of october which is when we're having this big event and uh, the idea was that it was going to only last for 12 months and then we'd strip the whole thing and start fresh um, so we get instant results, well not instant, but fast results, uh, results as, as quick as possible. So it does look pretty good. Like if we have a look around, it is green and it's lush, but it is a big mix of weeds. Over on the other side, I'll take you over there in a sec, this is the other yard. Um, this was a majority of um, cooch and it was doing really well. And you can see the ryegrass has, has really taken well and kept its color and come through the cooch. There is a lot of winter grass and all sorts of things mixed in here, but I'll, I'll flick this around so you can have a look. So here is a majority of the cooch with the, with the ryegrass that's come through. You can see it's looking really green, lots of winter grass in the middle there. But from closer inspection again, it is full of weeds. You've got clover, winter grass, all sorts of things in here. But the good thing is, if we have a look at the other side, where this has been completely untreated, it's just taken, taken off. These weeds have just gone nuts. So the good thing is, this is looking much better, much tidier, much cleaner with my uh, kind of makeshift temporary irrigation set up here, but it is doing well. So hopefully this comes good by the time October comes around, but we will wait and see. There is a fair bit of leveling that I'll need to do as well. Hopefully I can do that about six weeks out um, just to give the, time, give the grass time to come through. But let's jump over the other side. We'll give it a mow. And then the goal of today is to spray it bow and arrow uh, on the back of the mower give it a good spray and um, hopefully that takes place uh, takes effect over the next couple of weeks right oh let's get into it
looking pretty good after a mow. But don't let the green fool you. Those weeds are still definitely there. Uh, what we're going to do now, uh, the plan was to attach the sprayer to the back of the mower, but the pump on the sprayer is not working. So we'll just do it with the, uh, with the backpack sprayer and um, get our steps up. done it has been mowed and I've put out an application of bow and arrow I did that at a rate of 50 mils for every two liters um, 14 liters in the, in the sprayer which I filled up twice the yard is 50 by 20 um, so I probably will have to go over it again uh, because I am conscious that I have missed spots although the dye in there has helped me work out where I've been standing over it now and having a better look with the sunlight in particular um, now that it's finally come out, um, I can see that I have missed some spots. So we'll have to do that again, but we'll check in on it um, in about a week's time to see how, how it goes. From here, the next major project is going to be leveling the lawn. That's going to be a massive job. Um, so I need to work out quantities um, and how I'm going to do that. I'm hoping um, I can get some machinery from Kennards to help out with that, um, but yeah, not doing it with a shovel or a wheelbarrow, it is just too large, too ridiculously large to do that way. So we'll give that a crack. Um, and then after that, um, we'll be on the home stretch. So end of October, we have a big event here um, and it needs to be looking fantastic. And it does from a distance, but it's up close uh, and it shows its true, true color, so to speak. So that's about it. Uh, we'll catch you in the next one.